Rounding up the InterVision one-two punch of non-exploitation films this month, we have Gustafo's Last Origin. Now, this is more your typical Nazi film, as basically it's just uh, balls against the wall, all out torture on the women. But it does take time to borrow what I like to call some uh, artistic ability, if you want to call it that, from such films as Silo, because I felt a lot of what happens in this film with the creative violence and the way it's portrayed and the feces that's used here and there and stuff like that kind of reminded me more of uh, Solo than any other Nazi film that I've seen, especially recently, since I've been having to watch quite a few of them. Uh, there's the typical plot. you got this person backtracking, telling the story of what happened in the Nazi camp. You've got, you know, the leader of the camp obviously has a woman that he thinks is, you know, maybe his pick of the litter, I guess you could say, if you want to use that sort of term to, to say it. And in between that, we have a bunch of uh, Nazi leaders sitting around and eating Jews and killing Jews and doing everything you shouldn't be doing with Jews. They're doing it. I'm sad to sleep with because I've seen some good-looking Jews, and I, I condone that. But nonetheless, Jaskafo's last orgy is more artistic than it probably is in quality. And uh, as far as the plot goes, I've seen better. It does get a bit slow even if it does get a bit creative along the way. So uh, it's kind of got that regular Nazi madness. It's even got a little artistic merit thrown in there. But as far as entertainment value and stuff, I think you'll find yourself checking your watch quite often. So I hate to do it to Gustavo, but the last orgy, it's a thumbs down from Mr. Chuck Connery because I don't think you're going to enjoy this one. Even if you necessarily love Nazi films, I think this one might be near the bottom of your list.